Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to Satisfactory. Uh, it's a game I was actually looking at uh, playing myself. I wasn't sure I was going to do it on the channel, and uh, somebody actually requested it. So here it is. This is Satisfactory, and from what I've seen, it's actually a very satisfactory game. It's uh, actually right up my alley. It's all about mass production, automation, and uh, basically abusing the resources that are available on this planet. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, right now, I can expect a lot of lag just because uh, there is what is a uh, power slug or whatever I have seen a lot of videos on it. I pretty much watch whatever I can and it's like I said it's something I thought about getting into but uh, never really got into it until now uh, I was trying to get the the intro going uh, with our buddy fr our friend there and he was standing right here and I came out and he had to start talking to me. I was trying to you know try to get a little bit of a funny conversation going on but the dialogue kept on interrupting me and all that stuff but uh, yeah, I have played a little bit. I've played through most of the part, first part of the tutorial here, which we're actually going to do right now. And yeah, I was getting to the point where I was getting so involved with it, I just wanted to keep Second on going. Objective. Please ensure you have your Fixit incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Note According to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial. Yada yada yada. I know what she's talking about. This little, not that. This thing here. Uh, that was one of the things I couldn't actually find before. Was the the yeah, what you call it? Yeah, you touch it. To find iron. Yeah. Anyway, iron. So yeah, that's gonna be the first thing to do. Is we're gonna find some iron. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we got one to get scanned right now. And wait for the bing and the ding. Yeah, let's see, we got one 259 over there and 250 that way. This way looks better just because of the fact we got more room to work with. And I was actually starting to really enjoy it once I got the conveyors going. I started seeing the animation, the actual machines and all that stuff. It was quite, quite interesting. I was starting to like it. Like I said, I am expecting a lot of lag. Initial and scans reveal coloring properties in the flower petals. Further analysis required. Yeah, it just means we can paint stuff. Uh, I w would actually turn the tutorial dialogue off, but I haven't gone through it all yet, so it might be stuff I missed. Just because I watch videos doesn't mean I actually watch them intently. You know, I'm usually busy doing something else, so I forget a lot of things. All right, we're going up this way. We've got a lot of iron up here. Ooh, nice. Just grabbing this for biomass because I know I'm going to need it in here. And I'm going to watch out for... Those guys there. I was actually a little worried about how bad these guys were going to be, but... Ah, they're not too bad. Come on. Come on, buddy. Let's do this. Not a scratch. Studying the remains of this creature might Where's the other guy? How to defend yourself in the future. I recommend analysis. There's got to be more around here somewhere. Yeah... Yeah, it's actually, uh, like, I've seen how much is actually in this game right now, and, you know, it's still early access, and they're still having update content updates coming out where they're going to be adding more and more things to it, so it's going to be quite interesting. Get some food. Possesses minor healing properties. Further analysis required to establish object scanner identification. Oh, let's grab whatever we can. Okay, so now we got to go ahead and set up the hub. I hear footsteps. That aren't mine. Anyway, uh, what am I doing here? Uh, see, oh yeah, we gotta gather resources first. All right, and jingle bells, jingle bells. Anyway, oh. objective: build the hub. Note: to complete this objective, the interesting. The uh, the the sound you get varies depending on where you're actually hitting on it. Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain, or at least it seems like it. Yeah, I got to do so will likely result in non optimal progress. Non optimal progress. Of course. It's all about optimization and efficiency and and resourcefulness. Okay, so let's go ahead and place the hub down. Now let's see, because I want to make sure I have room for conveyors and stuff like that. And I gotta build the workbench too, so I think we're gonna put it right here. Uh it'd be nice to actually know which way is which. Uh I think the burner the Generators are on this side here. So go ahead and place that. Now that's building technology right there. All right, and get that out of the way. Nope, there we go. 
You have unlocked. The crafted. Yada yada yada. Okay, so now we gotta upgrade the hub by using the hub terminal. And I'm actually gonna disable this uh, tutorial because it does show on the left there. Alright, well I didn't find a way to actually disable it, so I just turned the volume down so I can still sort of hear it. Alright, so yeah, here we go. So now I'm gonna upgrade the hub to tier 1, make some iron, uh, iron, what was it, iron rods. Go ahead and just hit the old button. We gotta do it manually the first little while here. And we go ahead and make some rods. Now, like, it actually tells you how many you can actually make with what you have there. So it's really handy. All right, was that enough? Probably not. Select like that milestone, and yes. And this is how I actually had to figure out myself: is uh, if you hold right-click down the stack and actually hold it, and the slider comes up. But if you let go, the slider goes away and selects whatever you chose. And just like that, it magically grows. All right, so now we have a personal storage. We're going to get some new buildings, smelter, and... You have hub by a mass yeah, anyway, she's uh, explaining it right now, so... All that, uh, first thing i got to do is i got to go make a personal miner. Uh, I'm actually going to make a workshop. So we need a workshop, and I need to make... Plates. Alright, let's get out of here, so we'll go here, go ahead and... Make a whole bunch more ingots. Do, 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 do. And I should actually be. Yes. So let's go play, play some smelter first. Uh, I got the mines there. Let's actually put it right over here. And I am missing wire. So I'm going to need copper first. Of course, I'm going to need copper. So in that case, I'm going to get out of here. Let's see. Let's make those. Uh, this workshop. Do that. Make a few plates. And. Make a couple of rods while I'm at it. Just because I think I need them. Alright, now, equipment workshop. And this is going to make things just slightly easier. Uh, it's actually got a nice view somewhere. Maybe a little bit of shelter, too. Sure, right there. Okay, now for the personal miner. I need wire. So, we got to go find copper. So now, go here and let's see, scan for the copper. 200 meters that way, and 340 that way, and 400 even further. So we are going to go this way. Zappy, zappy. And see what we can find. Can I get up here? Of course I can. And where is it? Right there. Got a few more leaves. Of course, I will actually need them. Need all I can get. I got a whole bunch of wood too, and I think you actually get more biofuel out of that. And here is the copper. Uh, got to keep an eye out for the neighbors. I know we don't. I know we don't have to worry about the nasty ones just yet. But hey, I can see my hub from here. Pretty soon you'll be able to see it from space. Oh, yes. Got to hold it. All right. Get some copper. I'm going to do a quick scan too, see if there's anything else in the area. Because when the time comes, we actually start getting this stuff, mass amount of it. We'll have to make sure we have everything going into one line if it comes down to it. Right. Hello, hello. Come on, one more hit. Come on, you. Come on, chicken. Right on the nose. Thank you. Okay, now where is home? This way. See, he hardly touched me. Ah, he's not worried. It's the guys that started shooting fire at you. Those are the guys I'm worried about. Hopefully I'll have a, some better setup by then. And we'll just go ahead and clear the bushes while we're at it. Since we're going this way. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, so now I gotta go make some copper ingots. Yeah, do, do, do. I gotta admit, for doing this by hand, it's awfully, awfully quick. Yes, I hear you. I'll be coming for you soon enough. One thing I was wondering is if the animals actually respawn. In my other save there, I had, uh, I had a few guys at the area that I was at, and I exited the game and loaded back up, and they were showed up again so that makes me wonder about this guy here if he's gonna respawn or not 
We shall find out. Anyway, uh, yeah, what's I doing? Oh, yeah. Gotta get some portable miners here. Okay, I need plates. Of course I need plates. Why wouldn't I need plates? i to make a whole bunch more iron ingots. Do, 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 do. And I want to make... I might as well make three of them. Okay, and I'll go ahead and make a bunch of plates. And go over here. I love how this guy just jumps so high. One miner, two miner, and I need one more cable. Or four more cables. So we go over here, grab some more wire. Make a few more cables. And uh, it's uh, three miners. Okay, so I'll put two of them on the iron here. I'll run up here quickly. Nope, oh, that's the wrong button. Go ahead and put you here and drop you down. And go over here, drop one down here. And back to the copper. Where was the copper? I have no idea. No, it was up here. Now, it would be nice if these guys had beacons that actually showed up on the map so we'd be able to find them a little easier. But this should be relatively easy to find. It's just over the hill. Nice. Okay, and then by the time I get back, I should have a fair amount of iron. Just good to go. All right, well, I'll drop a U here. Oh. Early access. It's okay. Early access. It's okay. Well, I'm sure we've, see, we've seen a few of those. I've seen this guy here will actually fly through the space elevator. So I'll have to make sure to put it right in his way. For when they finally fix that, then we can watch the disaster. Okay, open portable miner. We'll grab all. It's only 20, but it's better than nothing. Because now I should be able to actually make the smelter. Now, what did I need for the smelter? I just need a few rods. Perfect. Go over here. Nope. No, no, no. We do not want to dismantle it. Do this. You know, I've I've actually heard a lot. A few people actually say that if you hold that button long enough, it will explode. I've never actually seen anybody cause it to explode yet, but that's the magic word. Yet. Anyway, so this is going to be the main iron smelter, and see, I got the two there. So let's put it this way. Put it right there. All right, power lines. Uh, hmm. Oh yeah, they're right here. One there and one there. Oh, I need cable. That's another thing I found interesting, too, is the further away you go, the higher your cost gets. It's not just showing the, the tower right now. But I'm just going to go ahead and make... Now that is a beautiful sunrise. This must be a binary star system. I was actually wondering about that, how, light, how, how long the night cycle was. Okay, go ahead and we'll connect you to you. All right, now, I can't make the biomass yet, but I can go ahead and just dump a whole bunch of leaves in there. All right, we are <laughs> we are killing the environment in style now. All right, uh, no, 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 no. Go ahead and set that to iron, and where did my iron go? There we go. So now, 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 now we, now we go over here and see what the next upgrade is. Okay, hub upgrade two. So I need 10 plates, 10 rods, and 50 wire. Now, how much copper do I actually have? I think I have enough. Seem to be getting three wire for every ingot. So that's not bad. There we go. We got our 50 wire. Where's our wire? There are 36, 51. All right, let's go ahead and drop that in there. Let's select that milestone. Uh, we need 50 wire. Split stack. Oh, God, he scared me. Oh, jeez. We're going to have to name him. He's going to be hanging around for a while. I need 10 rods and 10 plates. Fairly simple. There's my tan rods, so we'll do that. 
and like so run over here grab whatever iron is smelted and this is what I like too it's like every everything's got an animation you can see this thing's spinning and it's not even I don't know if you notice this but it's not even spinning centered it's got that built in flaw just really good attention to detail they did alright so I've got iron up we go should be in the Olympics jeez Oh, yeah, I don't have to make ingots anymore. Perfect. Okay, and we split this down to 10. Right there, and... Upgrade. Nice. Now we, got a, now we have a bedroom. Alright, so now we have new buildings. So now... Yeah. Scanner, stone, yada, yada, yada. Let's just get out of that. I meant to do that, not close my menu, so yeah, now we have the constructor, now uh, we do have power poles now, which is good, and uh, yeah, and then now we can also go for limestone too, and I lucked out in my last, my quick little playthrough there, I found some right away, and it seems like there is some right there. No, okay, what are you? Oh, you're probably something else, like quartz or something. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Not armed. So what is this? Oh. Yeah, it's not an actual deposit. It's a, just a node. But it's what we need to get to the next upgrade. And... One more, I think. Nope. I guess it varies how much you get from these things. Good enough. Uh, definitely have to find a proper node for that. Because we're going to have to uh, get some of that produced awfully quick. Okay, so... Constructors... Okay, so now we got to build a constructor. What does a constructor need? Reinforced plates. Okay, here's where it gets fun. Because i got to make screws. So i got to run over here. And we'll grab iron out of here, because you are full, and I've stopped running, and same with you. And while we're here, we must go and grab the copper, because that's going to be full. I see no spark, so yes, it is full. Alright. Now, I've been told, too, that this is a fairly open world, like you can... Like, it's a fair size area. So that'll be interesting to check out. Okay. Back we go, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Soon we'll be riding conveyors in style. Grab that berry. And I might as well eat something while I'm at it. Uh, hmm. Eat some nuts. Yummy. Looks like a giant brain pistachio. Okay, now um, go back down here, and we are ready. So what is next? Next is get the iron in here, get that smelting, and while that's doing that, what else did I need? I needed, for the upgrade I needed, no not the upgrade, uh, constructor, I needed one more cable, so we'll go ahead and make the cable, well, I gotta make some more wire. Okay, one cable and reinforced iron plate, which needs plates and screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a few more plates. I'm actually gonna have help out a little bit here. Make that, and the screws need rods. I'm actually gonna need a lot more rods. You know what? You should be done. Or close enough. Trade ya. Alright, now that I have a light. I think I did. I did. It was V. For some reason. No, not F. God damn it. Alright, uh, go ahead and make a few more rods, because I gotta make more screws. Well, I don't know how many I needed. Apparently that many. And three reinforced plates. So now we can go ahead and make a constructor. Now, where am I going to put this thing? 
I hear so many noises, I don't know what I'm hearing. I don't know if, hear, if I'm hearing the biomass generator, if I'm hearing the miner, or hearing the smelter, or hearing something that's about to kill me. But, okay, so this is coming out, so I might as well use this to start producing stuff here. And I like how they have these alignment lines here. And see if I can actually get one to show up here. There it is. But if you're perfectly in line, you will actually get like a cyan line somewhere here. There it is. Unless you know it's like perfectly straight in line with it. And I guess that does a center for all, all machines. Anyways, so what is next? Next is... Do I have conveyors? I don't think I do. No, I do not. Because it would be my hot if I did. Alright, well, let's grab the iron. That's in here. We'll give it some more ore to deal with. And okay, what's next? Power poles extend power grid. Expanded reduction to... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let's go ahead and place a power pole down. Which I actually need limestone for, I do believe. Or cement. Concrete. Whatever it's called. The hard stuff that hurts when you hit it. This stuff here, yes. Okay. And back to here. And we might as well just do uh, like so. We'll go here and we'll dismantle that. And then we'll go to the two and connect you to there. And then eat you to there. And there. Okay. So that is up and... Uh, what's wrong with you? Uh, no production yet. Well, I'm also set it up for plates. Go over here, we'll grab whatever we can out of here. Put them in here, and... Alright, it does work. Cool. Awesome. And now we gotta see what we need for the upgrade. Go ahead and select that. We're gonna need 75 plates, which I thought. I got the, that. And the cables. Alright, so let's see what the refine the smelter's doing right now. Go ahead here and we'll take that out and switch it back over switch it over to copper. Uh did I lose my ingots? Oh I must I must have taken them out automatically. That'd be smart if they did that. Okay. We do that. Run over here. We make uh also make some more concrete while we're at it. And make some wire. And what did I need? Ten cables. We can make eleven. Okay. So we'll go here, we'll put ten cables in. Like so. You put 10 concrete in. Like so. I'm going to make two reinforced frames. Or reinforced plates. So we're going to make a few rods. A few more. And... I need plates. Actually, I could probably make my own plates. Don't need to go and steal them from the machine that's doing it for me automatically so I don't have to do them, right? Can't afford a recipe. Oh, yeah. Wait, hold on. Oh, I need more. Not a problem. Yeah. Let's try that. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. I just need two of those, right? Yes. Two of those. Now you should be chugging along. 34. And you're still doing the copper. And I guess I'll help out with the rest of the plates. And then we can get this upgrade done. Do, 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 do. I have no idea how many it's going to take. I think I'm going to need more iron, to be honest. No, we're almost there. We're almost there. I'm going to have to go and grab some more copper because I think that's going to be full pretty quick. But this is going to unlock the miners. I do believe it the miners and the conveyors. Oh, yeah, the button was twitching. 
I didn't even notice that it was actually starting to twitch like that. Okay, so that's 63. I just need another dozen, which should be right there. All right, can I get an upgrade, please? Can I actually hit the panel, please? All right, oh. All right, 75. And upgrade. All right. So now, new buildings, new parts, and player upgraded. So now we get conveyors. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Now we get to the fun part. Oh, wait, what do I need for the miners now? Oh, I don't have miners yet. Oh, that's right. That's the next tier. But we do have conveyors. I think I need, I think I need more plates. Which should actually should be in the machine that we're going to be connecting this to. Okay. And hit the right button. There we go. Can't afford it. Come on. Really? And you don't have enough to earn. Ha 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 ha. Okay. I'll run over here. Because you're full. Anyways. Grab that. Oh, yeah. We're going to leave them there for now because uh, we don't have any proper miners yet. We're still working by hand, but we're making pollution. So that's all that really matters. Okay. Take you out. Switch you back over to iron and get you going. Take that out. We'll go here and might as well throw it in here to get it to make a get it to make one plate for us, so we can actually give it a conveyor so it can make plates for us. Okay, let's try this again. Hooray! Automation, love it. All right, so what is going to be the next upgrade for? Uh, inputs and outputs for buildings. Freaks me out every time he walks by. It really does. As long as he doesn't shit on my lawn, I don't care. And biomass. Oh, yes. Biomass now. Now, can I make biomass out of the wood? No, I can't. Oh, yes, I can. There you go. I got better fuel for the furnace. And I think, if I look at the right side, the next tier. We got a second generator, which is cool because we're gonna start. We're gonna need to start needing a lot of power. But anyways, I think this is a good place to call it. Um, we'll have one quick look at what the next upgrade is because I have a feeling it's gonna be a lot of mass production. So 100 plates, yeah, 175 rods. So in other words, we let the the const constructor go to till it fills up. We switch to rods, let it go till it fills up, and I can do the cables myself. But we'll deal with that in the next episode. But anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.